Okay, we've got Tanya Rebels back on the Isle of Wight. <laughs> <laughs> so I've pinned her down to do an interview. Uh, uh, Tanya's uh, one of the chief administrators with the Stop 5G Global Protest Movement. And uh, yeah, she's done a lot of work over the years. I think it must be about five years since I last interviewed her, didn't it, Tanya? Mm. It's a I number of years ago. Things, sure. things have moved on a lot and mm. there's a lot more to talk about, I'm sure. So what I'm going to do, and the, see, the situation is getting more serious by the day, isn't it? And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let you fire away and tell us where you're up to now and what's, what's occurring, basically. Okay? Thank well, you, Derek. Off you go. <laughs> so first of all, a global 5G protest for freedom, as we call it now, because mm -hmm. that's very much what it's about, yeah. as well as our health and the environment. That's this coming weekend. So the 24th and 25th of June, we expect people across the globe to rise up and to say no to 5G wireless technology, to roll out, for the sake of our privacy and security. Yeah. We don't want uh, antenna on every other lamppost and bus stop and all the places they want to put them up mm -hmm. uh, with all kinds of consequences. You can put all kinds of things on these antenna, little LED street lights, the rollout of those we're the precursor of smart cities, smart city and towns and villages roll out. So these lampposts, they can put anything on them and surveillance is very much a concern because with facial recognition, which is being rolled out as well as like sweets, uh, we are in the perfect storm. There's even gate recognition now, isn't it? Like by your movement. You know? Exactly. So we are slowly but surely, or actually quite rapidly since, since the COVID, the, the pandemic, quote unquote, uh, which is really a smoke screen for rolling this stuff out and for distracting us. Yeah. Since then, our, our privacy is, is, is really at threat. Um, we are being put into an electronic prison. I call it um, planet prison uh, because 5G wireless technology is being sold to us as giving faster download speeds and all this. But really what it is about is, uh, of course, autonomous cars, Internet of Things, who wants that? Internet of underwater things, they want to make the oceans into smart oceans with all the radiation, sonar, consequences for marine life and all that. And, and, and that's what it really is about. And ultimately, what the result will be is an, an electronic surveillance grid yeah. of epic proportions, um, some call it the brave new normal, mm. where we will have nowhere to go. They can happen, track and zap you, whether you're in the Amazon or wherever, because they, of course, are shooting up the satellites, uh, again, as sweets, uh, 100,000 approved for the lower stratosphere, with all consequences for all life on Earth. The electric circuit is being broken. We are being made ill by it. Wildlife is suffering. But these satellites will put the planet into an electronic, complete surveillance grid. A yeah, control and surveillance web, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. It's about control. Uh, and of course, for many people, even those who don't acknowledge that this is about control, it's also about our health, because they're using frequencies which are high, very off the scale, really high frequencies, only used by the military in the past. And of course, the Russian military knows what it does, and so the industry knows what it does. It's harmful, because we are electric beings. Yeah. Our brain is an electric circuit. Our heart is an electromagnetic pump. Our cells communicate electrochemically. Yes, we're talking biological circuits. Yes, yeah. and we are biological beings, yeah. obviously. Most people realize that. Not artificial, like but the they, wireless. That's the yeah. thing. We don't realize that we are also electric beings. And we are connected to the electromagnetic field of the Earth. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important to Earth ourselves, to be yeah. barefoot on the Earth. Yeah. Get rid of the rubber soles, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, they insulate us. And we are also connected to the ionosphere. That's the positive charge. The Earth is a negative charge. Mm -hmm. In effect, we are antennae. And this connection mm -hmm. is being broken right now because they're messing with the ionosphere. These satellites, apart from creating sky debris and apart from harming the ozone layer, as well as increasing the carbon and ecological footprint, and you could go on, because mm -hmm. they're shooting them up, of course, with kerosene and all kinds. They're not shooting them up just like yeah. that. No, exactly green, is it? You know? Or so-called renewable. <laughs> and they're, they're replaced every five years. It's crazy, but not above all, no, on top of all this, because it's crazy as it is, they are breaking this 
essential electric circuit which is important for all life mm -hmm. and we as a result uh, many humans uh, not for, for at least three four years now well since they've started to shoot these satellites up more people are having problems with their feet knees hips i'm one of them um, mm. headaches migraines because this is where we're connected this is not voodoo, yeah. well, this is actually the basis. It exacerbates existing conditions, the immune yes. system destroyed everything. Ask Arthur yeah. Furstenberg, he is, uh, he's wonderful, he's been fighting for so long uh, to stop 5G and also electrosmog in general, because of course all wireless technology is harmful to us. Knows this? Uh, yeah, Arthur Furstenberg, Arthur he's the yeah. author of uh, the Invisible well, he's Swedish like yourself, isn't he? No, he's American. Oh, he's American? Oh, yes. I like the Swedish. And, uh, but he's a lovely man. Of course, he's that's where your name comes from, we must say, Rebel. It's a Swedish it's name. It's a Dutch name. It's not, it's not a name that you've given yourself. It's a Swedish Dutch. Dutch, Dutch. Dutch. <laughs> yeah. I'm Swedish Dutch, but my, my surname is my father was Dutch. Uh, and But I live up to the name Rebel in Dutch. It means <laughs> Rebel. Yeah. And, and, and it's a fitting name, isn't it, really? <laughs> well, right now, we all need to rebel. And I don't mean rebel like ex rebellion, because there's following default still. I asked Exxon Rebellion to declare environmental emergency, to include all pollution, including mm -hmm. electrosmog, because right now we're just replacing fossil pollution, which is important that we obviously reduce that because of air pollution. Uh, we don't want air pollution, but we are replacing it with electrosmog, which is also a form of air pollution. And together with light pollution, which is increasing with blue rich white lights, which are crazy in themselves, yeah. and together with um, electromagnetic radiation, air pollution and light pollution, together form a toxic cocktail. So this is why we need to diminish all pollution. I asked Exxon Rebellion, they said no, just climate change, because headquarters told us so. And I said, well you're rebels, you're supposed to be rebels. You're not supposed to just follow, because headquarters tells you so. And so we need to think in a joined up way. We need joined up thinking and holistic action. And we need to obviously focus on all forms of pollution. But why are we sidelining light pollution, which upsets our circadian rhythms? So we shouldn't have bright lights at night because yeah. it wakes us up. I mean, look at the birds and the animals. We've right. we been watching the jackdaws here. Yeah. And when it's dusk, they calm down, yeah. they roost. And they go to bed. I'm not saying you should go to bed. Me. There's still some it's, nests over the road there. I it's think. in harmony with nature. Yeah, yeah, it is indeed. Yeah, this yeah. is not vodka, by the way. <laughs> it's just my voice is a bit funny, so yeah. I need to keep lubricated. But this is so important that we think about electrosmog and light pollution as important forms of pollution to be uh, ch challenged now, not later, not That's ten right, years down yeah. the line, because the people who are electro hypersensitive. Because we're all sensitive, mm. we all, as you, as I said, we're all electric beings. These artificial pulsed phase array now with 5G uh, radiation uh, frequencies affect all of us. So what they do is they break the blood-brain barrier, they um, open up the calcium voltage channels in our cells, yeah. they cause oxidative stress. Serious. Yeah, serious oxidative stress, which then. Uh, is caused to all kinds of disease, um, including increased risk of strokes, heart attacks, mm -hmm. cancer, neurological disease, yeah. <laughs> Alzheimer's, dementia, uh, we are in the motor neuron disease, we're in the perfect storm. Yeah. And this, people don't realize it's the new tobacco. They're all on their mobiles, their little smart mirrors, as they call it. Sadly, they're not being informed, which is criminal, frankly, because the telecom industry knows mm -hmm. the government is not exercising due diligence. Yeah. They're rolling this out because people want it so-called, but they're also foisting it on people and they're now making it almost impossible not to have a mobile phone, to even pay for your parking or to go into a venue or, um, what, what was it recently? Yes, I wanted to go to a kiosk and change some ca coins, but we need to keep cash by the way, cash oh, is king yeah. for our freedom, because yeah. once all, everything is electronic, digital currency, they can do with you what you yeah. like. Say you don't want to be yeah, vaccinated, for example. Yeah, they can the, the stop Chinese you. social credit system is the blueprint for it all, isn't it? And they're totally yes. surveilled, aren't they? And if they're naughty, uh, it's like computer says no, whether it be just getting on a train or, or yeah. even in a supermarket when you're checking out your food. They can control your money. There we are. China is the yeah. prototype. China is already a country prison, if you like. 
Mm. And also, as you know, they're colonizing Tibet. They've colonized since the 50s. Who talks about Tibet now? Which is somewhat aware about the Uyghurs, and they are being electronically surveyed. We've got Tib some of the Tibetan monks on the island. Oh, I think it's next week at the Key Art Centre. Oh, brilliant. Oh, they're, they're down, they've moved down to, uh, you know, southern India. Yeah. And uh, who have been here before? I went to see them with a friend a couple of years ago. Excellent stuff. If anybody's anywhere near the key arts lately, uh, it's very soon. I can't remember the date, but it's very soon. I'd and they're very interesting to watch. They do all the dance and they've got, you know, the uh, like the, you know, the, the dragon thing and the and the head mask beautiful. and all the rest of it and. And they're basically just monks, Tibetan monks, you know. It's a beautiful culture. Very quiet people. But it's being you know? destroyed. Yeah. And it's not just now being destroyed by dynamite, because they, of course, have destroyed monastery after monastery with dynamite and all kinds of horrors that they've, and people being tortured there. And whilst we've been silenced, and we have invested in China, buying their goods, we have, create, we have, we have helped create a monster. But now, they're also taking the Tibetan DNA they're forcing even children to give their DNA samples. And there's an organization called Free Tibet, and I urge all to look at that, because this organization is fighting for the children not to be sent forcefully to boarding schools where they're being brainwashed, just like the Igwirs, they're being brainwashed with electronic means. And as we know, uh, in China, full stop, electronically, they are all totally incarcerated. Now this is what sadly is becoming the prototype they're already trying it out in various places in the world. Yeah, and it's me, okay. only a matter of time, <laughs> unless we rebel. And this yeah. is what I ask people to do this coming Saturday, Sunday. Whether you're into just plain freedom, mm -hmm. a lot of people are concerned about the lockdowns, which as we know now, were counterproductive and were in actual fact the cruelest. The people. ruined us, yeah. Nobody, I say nobody, should be allowed to die alone. People have had to die alone whilst they were partying at Westminster, as we know. Mm -hmm. And this is just unacceptable and most people follow it along because of fear this was project fear and i'm not saying i'm not one saying there's no virus there's no this or that there might well have been and it might well have been pro lab produced as they say now but it wasn't it didn't warrant this and no, it was blown and out people, of all proportion yeah and people yeah. reacted to that they reacted to the vaccines because again we should have autonomy we should yeah. be able to decide well, it was all about our own get, body it was all about getting those jabs you know, really. Well, and also, <laughs> it was a smoke screen, because the, the AI industry, and we're coming on to AI in a moment, mm -hmm. and the telecom industry, they were just, people were having anti-lockdown marches, well, good in itself, but they were just rolling out the technology in schools during lockdown, yeah. on hospitals they're putting these masks, I mean, even if people think this is so-called safe, it has not been proven safe, mm -hmm. they are not following the precautionary principle, yeah. as I said, they're not... But act, um, acting out due diligence, they are not uh, following any uh, Nuremberg principle where you shouldn't roll out experimental technology. Yeah. We are being experimented upon, and the kids, the children, are the ultimate guinea pigs. They're all on their little smart mirrors. When I see people now, hunched, kids hunched over their mobile phone, yeah, no. the mobile neck or whatever they call it, and you know, what's going to happen to them? They're extra sensitive, their skulls are thinner. They're, they're still growing, yeah. and this stuff, we talk about smoking being bad, and it's banned from public places, vaping too, which both of them, of course, are not good for us at all. Yeah. We could well, guess that long ago. The industry hit it. Now they're hiding this. This the is worse, doesn't want to it, really. Yes, because it goes right through the yeah. skull. Because right through the skull. We've also got Wi-Fi everywhere. It. And we shouldn't have Wi-Fi in schools. That's a definite. We shouldn't have Wi-Fi in any public spaces. I mean... They banned smoking in public places, didn't they? Not long ago. Mm. Look how long it took them. And now the, the, the Lloyds won't even ensure wireless technology because they've got the fingers burnt with cigarette tobacco. And that's, that says it all, doesn't it, really? It says it. And again, we're replacing tobacco <coughs> with electric pollution. But in, in schools, okay, we didn't... Well, uh, my history teacher used to smoke in the old days. That happened. Well, we all did. I used to smoke well, when I was a teenager. Yeah, yeah, my father did. And, yeah. and, and, but my history teacher, eventually, he was told he couldn't. And then at the beginning of the lesson, he still had a cigarette. And then he waved goodbye to the smoke. I still remember us opening the cupboard once in his classroom and all the cigarette boxes fell out. <laughs> but that was eventually bad. He was a character, by the way. <laughs> but, but this, kids are bathing in Wi-Fi. They're not having Y-gig and all this jazz, higher frequencies. Mm. 
some people call them white fry. It gets worse as the turn of power on, on the cell towers up. The, the output from, yeah. from, from the uh, routers is higher. Everything's yeah. higher. It's now penetrating indoors. You've measured it. Yeah, I've heard it's higher in my house. What are you doing? It's gone even higher not long ago because yeah. next door I've had smart meters installed. Yeah. I'm getting the, the vibe from them as well. Don't you know? get a smart meter, folks. It's not smart. Smart is stupid. <laughs> Anytime you're trying to sell you smart, think. Yeah. Because even if it's so-called convenient, Any, <laughs> anything wireless or smart, yeah, it's it's not good. We're talking about you know cordless telephones and indoors. So Though cordless, cordless telephone routers yeah. chuck out more than the Wi-Fi. You might as well have an antenna in your house for cordless phone. It's bad. Of course, it is convenient. This is how they sell it to people. And of course, it yeah, is. People work with serious yeah, illnesses, healthy. everything from neurological industry to physical illnesses, it's exasperated by these uh, EMFs. Of course it is. You know, it's but people don't join the dots. People don't seem to want to Even respiratory disease and all this, because yeah. the higher frequencies make oxygen absorption more difficult. Yeah, I think it's peer pressure. Almost impossible and, uh, at certain frequencies. Peer pressure and fear of losing employing all this. It's, well, it's also... It's fear is controlling people. No yeah, people are being zombified because these gadgets we know give you a dopamine hit is literally addictive, it pacifies you. We also know, we can just look at patents, there's lots of them, the industry is trying to find frequencies, and they have already found many, <laughs> where they can induce any state. They can induce depression, suicidal thoughts, yeah. and they can induce yeah. that euphoria and bliss. Even voices in the head, can't it? You know? They can make us into zombies. They can use it for all kinds of things. It's walls. a shame, it's a shame because uh, if they did it properly, uh, you know, uh, th this is all based really on on a military format, and it's it's not for the good. It's not for the good of a domestic thing. It's a military weapon, basically. It is you know? in in reality, and they say, oh, we don't use the same power. Doesn't mean they can't up the power. And I'm not saying necessarily that all the people who roll this out are evil or anything. A lot of them don't realize. Most people who use these gadgets have been told they're safe. Yeah. Which is not true, because if you read a small print, even on a phone, it says you shouldn't hold it close to your body, etc. Well, yeah. really, if... First of all, yes, it's convenient. But if it goes on the cost of your health and your children, and also nature, bees, birds, butterflies, all vulnerable. So green movement, where are you on this? Friends of the earth who care about the bees, Greenpeace who care about the oceans, what are you doing about the smart oceans mm -hmm. and the sonar and the lights they're going to use which will harm rebellion. marine Controlled. life, marine Controlled. mammals. Yes, Opposition. fair enough, but they Controlled used to care opposition. and the grassroots yeah, people still care. Yeah. So even if there be no fertility from the top, Friends of the Earth, Greenpeace, uh, Green Party, where are you on this? Because our motion to the Green Party of course got denied three times, EMR motion, about electrosmog. The hypersensitive people, electrosensitive, they are being discriminated against. They are now in prison planet, for sure. They can't get out, they can't use public transport or public buildings. They can't go anywhere. This, is, this goes against the Equalities Act, 2010. It goes against UK inclusion policy. This is immoral. It's discrimination. It goes against any law that's worth its name. Any human rights law. It's not civil. Yeah. We need to grow up. We need to stop electric smog. We need to get, get a world which is wired, wired connections, then it goes to the wire and not you. So the good old landline, we need to keep that. The copper analog good yeah, old landline. Definitely. Not fiber, because that's where 5G turns up. Plus you need a modem and you can't have the phone on at night if, if, because you have to have the modem on. If there's a power cut, it doesn't work anymore. Copper analog landline on wired connections, mm -hmm. folks. And then a humane life where we care about each other, where we connect to ourselves, the earth, the planet as a whole, and to others again in a real way. Yeah. And where technology is used that is soft to the planet. It's all about serving the innocence, really. Because we're, we're going to be gone before it gets major. Mind you, I'm talking about me, but I'm, I'm approaching 70 now. And I'm a stroke patient. I don't know how long I've got. But it could be, I, I look well, after myself. I look after myself, so I think I'm doing okay. But we're all know. being affected already, so... Yeah. You know, but you're doing well. And well then we, we've got to protect, it's, it's for the sake of the innocents. Yes. We're leaving them up to the necks in it, basically. For the sake of the children and nature, which has no voice. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's important that we all get together now. Green movement, freedom movement, all the people are awake. Because this is the great free set. That's yeah. what we're going to.
Fit. 